Hey up YouTube, welcome back and welcome into Phasmophobia where today we're going to be doing part two of the beginner's guide. This is going to be covering the next six items that you can unlock. These being the photo cam, the motion sensor, the parabolic mic, the crucifix, the salt and the tripod. We'll also be looking at the next house as well, which is Edgefield Road. So you will slowly unlock these houses. Obviously, mine are all unlocked at the moment, but the small maps are the first ones to come up. These are Tanglewood, Edgefield, Ridgeview, Grafton Farmhouse, Willow Street, Point Hope, which is the new map introduced at the time of recording about uh, a month ago, give or take. Bleasdale Farmhouse and Camp Woodwind. Uh, fun fact, uh, as we all know, facts are never fun. Um, I, <laughs> I really struggle with Camp Woodwind. I have no idea why. It's a weird map for me. It's my nemesis. Uh, but we will do one of those at some point. So the Edgefield Road, we're going to give that a whirl today. This is the first one that you'll experience with three levels and 16 rooms, as opposed to Tanglewood, which only had 11 rooms and the two levels. This has an upstairs as well as a basement. Uh, when you get to level 10 as well, which is the area we'll be covering, you unlock the intermediate difficulty. This just lowers the setup times and the grace period a little bit from the amateur level it also switches the fuse box off so or it starts off should i say so the fuse box will be off when we go in so we're gonna have to find it and turn it on uh, there's also a few places to hide uh, and you will regain some of your lost equipment value if you die uh, these are all within your capabilities once you've uh, managed to get up to level 10. We've added the new items as well. Don't forget, everything is still tier 1. So we will take a moment to um, uh, go through those when we actually get into the game. Uh, Shop-wise, you will have upgraded uh, these now these are free all tier one items are free so it will automatically unlock all you do is come in purchase however many you think you're going to be using generally i have been buying one of each when i play solo uh, the incense and stuff when you come to that and the salt uh, the sanity medication as well you could probably buy four of those that is only because you uh, the consumables so you will be using these so uh, a few more are generally required uh, once you've done that you can add these by clicking the plus and minus buttons these will add these to your van that means you can then go out and start your next hunt however they're one-time items, so you would have to then come back to the equipment manager and add more before you go on your next hunt. This is where the quick loadout comes into it. All you do is, once you've bought your items in the shop, you've added them into the truck using your equipment manager. You can then create a new loadout. Some of these are still locked, and I don't know why. I thought they would be uh, unlocking as we went through the game, but... Maybe that's for something uh, a little bit later. Um, so once you've come into here, you will notice that it has the tiers. Yours will probably have either an upgrade sign or a locked sign on them. So it's tier one all the way through. The right hand side shows us what we would be adding to the truck. This is an automated system, which makes things way, way easier. All you do is come out of the previous uh, ghost hunting uh, game and it will automatically add everything that is missing from your inventory into there so you can go straight into the next game no messing around with the equipment manager so all you need to do to add these providing you've bought them in the shop is use the plus button this will then add an extra one into your truck and it will be the loadout every time you will always come in with two in this instance two dots projectors because you get the one for free obviously the white ones are the uh, starter items which are free you'll always go in with two flashlights and you'll always go in with one crucifix so that is the way to do it this is the beginner series this is what i am adding i will remove that um let me have a look at uh, where's crucifix um where the hell there we go i'm gonna add two of those I generally take two in uh salt wise as well let's take 
uh, three of those. Photo camera, I, I sometimes take two because I can misplace them as well. We do have the tripod, we've got the motion sensor and we've got the parabolic mic. This is purely um, down to yourselves. Whatever you feel comfortable with when you want to play. Obviously, you will be not, you will be lacking a little bit of money at the moment. I've got a little bit of spare cash. Most of it goes on trying to attempt the apocalypse trophies. Um, but you will start slowly gaining the money, in which case you can up these to maybe buying uh, uh, two or three instead of just the one. Leave it up to you completely. If you do find this handy, then please don't forget to drop a subscription on the channel. That would be amazing. It doesn't cost anything and it helps me a lot. If you could drop a comment in um, it underneath the video as well. If you've watched the first of the beginner series, that would be amazing. Just let us know how you're getting on with the game. Also, let us know if this one has been helpful as well. If there's anything else in the future that you would like to see in here, we're going to be covering a fair amount of the um, leveling up and starter stuff. So without further ado, let's just jump in and crack on. Let's see what we've got when we get in there. Edgefield Road. Okay, so we are in. What have we got to do? Don't forget there is the daily uh, tasks that we can do. Discover the ghost type, reach zero sanity, complete objectives, get a Ouija board response. Um, uh, we have Patricia Barton this time. Responds to everyone. That means, if you remember from the first episode, that um, when you're using the spirit box, anybody can be in the house if you're in multiplayer. The other one is response to people who are alone, which means that people, uh, any of your teammates have to leave the house for you to get a response from the spirit box. Um, objectives for this one, get an average sanity below 25, detect a paranormal sound with a parabolic mic and have a member of your team escape the ghost during a hunt. With this one, the ghost has to see you and come towards you for it to register before you hide. There's no good just hiding. You won't get that objective. Uh, it does have to actually see you. Getting an average sanity below 25. Uh, usually what you can do is hide. So you can scoot around the house, do everything, get your ghost, get as many photos uh, as you possibly can, then go and hide in a cupboard with the lights off. That will reduce your sanity to 25. Alternatively, if you want to do it quickly, you can pick up a cursed object. Use that, either correctly or incorrectly, and it will reduce your uh, sanity right down. So we've got the new items here. We have the motion sensor, we've got the parabolic mic, we've got the salt, we've got the crucifix, and we've got the photo camera. We'll go through those as we go along. Uh, as normal, I'll take the... Uh, thermometer i'll take the crucifix and i will take the camera as well so let's get in let's get uh, the hunt started for the ghost um as we mentioned the intermediate level has the breaker off when you come into the house so the first thing really we want to do to keep our sanity up is to uh, head towards either the garage or the uh, basement depending what's on the map in the truck uh, they're the two locations for the breaker we will nip down into the uh, basement in a moment to have a look and I'll show you where that one is located okay whilst we're having a scoot around we're looking for the bone as well watching the temperature but we we'll also want to listen for any doors closing, anything being thrown, that type of thing. That will indicate roughly where the ghost is. Hopefully, anyway. So, as you're moving around as well, looking for the hiding spots. Just in case it starts a hunt. You want to uh, get out of there. Now, I didn't bring a torch down. Not the best of moves, that is for certain. Um, if the breaker isn't in the garage, it will be located on that wall there. So there are the two positions for the breaker in this house. Right. We'll continue on. We'll, we'll keep looking for the bone as we're going along. It, I don't think it's down there. It seem to be down there. Turn this on. 
We'll have a quick look in the kitchen. Open the door the wrong way. Ouija board as well, since it's uh, part of the daily tasks. Ouija board for this, I think, is either on that shelf or underneath. We can do a... Um, we can do a little episode on the cursed objects as well. Whoa, okay. So that sound is normally accompanied by a mist ball. Um, and the mist ball event uh, means it cannot be an Oni. However, that said, I'm just going to take a slurp of my coffee. That said, that sound, I feel that that sound can go off on its own as a little bit of a ghost jump scare. So unless you see the mist ball coming towards you, I would not tick Oni off the list just yet. It's always the same. Okay. Well, it's turned the breaker off. Now it flicked the switch as well. Uh, we had that on, didn't we? Let me just uh, nip and turn this breaker off again. God damn go. Honestly, coming in the houses thinking they rule the place. Has he turned it off again? Oh no, I was going to say. I'm going to be battling this ghost for the rest of this hunt, I think. Uh, so, let's have a look, let's have a look. So, checking in here, which we can do for a hiding spot. No bone that I can see there. Quick scoot in the bedroom. There is the monkey paw. Now, the monkey paw is a little bit of a cheeky one. You can ask plenty of questions for that. You, you can trap the ghost. You can ask for more activity. You can see the ghost. You can ask for sanity. You can ask uh, for life, which revives your teammate. And you can ask for knowledge, which crosses it out. All of which mess about with either your sound, your vision, or your sanity itself. Mm, we may have a play with it afterwards. But um, for the moment, I would probably just stick to trying to use the ghost for... Find the ghost yourself and get that evidence to tell you what it is. Keep that sanity intact. It is fun to play with some of them as well. Especially if you're with teammates. You can do a, a world of wonderful things if your teammates don't know you found the monkey paw. Ah, there we go. There is the bone. So, now that we have the video camera, you don't need to do this by any stretch of the imagination. All you have to do is pick up the bone. However, I suggest taking a photo of the bone that gives you a three star uh, well providing you've taken it correctly uh, it gives you a starred photo uh, we need 10 photos for a complete perfect investigation so that is just a way of getting one of them um we still don't know where the ghost room is at the moment we weren't really checking for it it did turn the lights off up here though it could be a hallway ghost I don't think it is though. Let's have a look in here. It's a very quiet ghost uh, at the moment. It's not doing a great deal. So it's all up at around 20 degrees. No, I don't think it's. I'm not sure it's up here. I haven't heard a, a lot from it. You will notice it start to go down quite quickly if it does, so have a mooch around. It could be the hallway down in the by the front door. Nope. Not going down there either. I'll turn this on so we can see what we're doing. Uh nope. Not hovering. Let's turn that one off. And we'll just check in the parents' room as well. No. Some more hiding spots back there as well in the wardrobes. Though so I'm pretty confident it's not upstairs for the moment anyway. We'll just turn some of these lights off. We don't need them all blaring. Waste of electricity and all that. Although I'm going to leave this one on because it did do the... It seemed to flick that light switch. 
an immediate light turning off is can be indicative of a mare. I'm thinking of doing a traits and tells uh, video at some point as well. People might find that useless, useful, useless. <laughs> they probably will find it useless, but um, it may be that people will find it useful. Uh, there is a lot of information surrounding the ghosts. There are 24 of them in total, and each of them, or most of them, should I say, have little tells. Uh, so there is a lot of information when you compile it all together. Uh, but each individual little bit will, will jump out at you when something happens. You won't necessarily go in thinking all 24 things. Uh, but if something happens, like a light going off or um, uh, the miss ball, for instance, for the Oni, you, it will jog. Well, hopefully it will jog some sort of memory. Think, oh, okay, well, <laughs> we're in the garage by the looks of things. Uh, so that's quite a good tell. I didn't hear it throw anything. Uh, but we'll pop that down here. So the crucifix, crucif I'm just going to move this. Look it over there. So the crucifix is one that you, uh, it is a good thing because it protects you from the hunt. So to place this, press F and look at the floor and you will notice the radius uh, around the crucifix. This is the area that you are, that is, it is protecting when you place it down. Um, it's not very big with this one. The, it gets bigger with the tier 2 and the tier 3, as you would expect. Also, this is a one-use crucifix. So once it goes up once and protects you, uh, that's it. You're not protected anymore. Uh, you'll notice when it's gone up because it will be re really glowy. That made me jump. <laughs> that really made me jump. Um, uh, this is what I said on the first video as well. If you don't pick up the car key, <laughs> which I completely forgot, if you don't pick it up from the front door, this will happen a lot. Now that we have the car key, this may not go off ever again. Okay, so the crucifix is down, so we are protected a little bit. If, though, something to be aware of, if it events in here right now, uh, even though the ghost room is in here, it does mean that it can spawn over, the, over there. That's t oh no, it's just turned the light off in here. Okay, well we can live without the light on. Uh, it's not too bad so we have the bone which we picked up we've taken a photo of it as well I'm going to shut this because there's a little bit of a weird thing with that door going on at the moment and it makes me uh, wonder what on earth it is every time I walk out so the next items that we're bringing in we kind of want to not speed run this but we're already on 68% uh, on sanity with no means of upping it so this means it can start to get tricky now. Uh, below 50, the majority of ghosts will hunt. So we do have to be a little bit careful. Even with the lights on, it is still a drain on us. So we'll take the video camera and we'll take two dots. Um, we've got the new tripod here. So F will place the video camera on. The tripod does nothing more than allow you to place the video camera on there which means that it won't get knocked or thrown as much it's not uh, invincible to that but it does mean that um, rather than placing it on the floor and take the risk of getting thrown about you can put it on the tripod and it doesn't get thrown about as much we'll quickly have a look for orbs uh, I can't see any orbs at all so we're going to place that I don't know why it's gone so high. We're going to place that there. Uh, we're going to use the dots like we did last time. We'll press F. We'll place that one there. And what we'll do is we'll right click to turn it on. We'll press F and we'll point it in that direction as well. So quick check of the temperature. It's not freezing. So back out again. Um... If you don't want to hang about in the house or your sanity is low, I do genuinely find this one a little tricky when you've been playing in your custom ones. Uh, even though you may start at zero sanity or whatever, having to get in and 
get in and out of the house quite quickly um, in the uh, in the times prior to be able to purchase the sanity meds is quite a tricky one. You do have to keep an eye on it. You can't hang around and and uh, um, you can't hang around and mess around for too much. Now we can take a second um, crucifix which will give us obviously that extra one shot but at the moment I think we're pretty much going to be okay. So it hasn't touched any doors so I'm not 100% going for UV at the moment. We're going to take the book, we're going to take an EMF and what we'll do is because I want to show you this we're going to take um we'll take the spirit box in for the moment we'll get those main detection items in the items that you are unlocking though uh, up to level 10 is the photo cam the motion sensor the parabolic mic the crucifix the salt and the tripod they don't really do any detection like uh, they won't give you any evidence as such uh not directly let me just turn that on and pop that on the floor and we'll turn the emf on as well quick check to make sure we think it's still in the room it is it's at uh, one degree it will take so we'll place the book down um we've turned the spirit box on don't forget the lights need to be off to talk to that and we'll put the emf down as well and then we'll we'll get out there we'll let that do its business uh let me turn the light off and we'll have a look at the video camera from the truck. I think on amateur and intermediate, the ghost doesn't move anyway. So I don't think it shifts rooms. Which makes detecting a Gorio a little bit harder as well. Uh, initially. Uh, so we'll take UV. We'll take some salt. And we will take the uh, motion sensor. Motion sensor exactly as it uh, sounds <laughs> the ghost has come into this room it's had a play of the piano as well now they did with the update put fingerprints on remote controls and small lamps and stuff i just wondered if it they'd done it on the piano but i'm not quite sure that is the case let me just turn this on okay so with the salt uh, I mentioned that it's not an evidence gatherer as such. This is mainly... This, we use assault for two reasons. Oh my god, it does not... Hey, steady on, steady on. Um, if we put the salt down, it's a good indicator as to whether this is a wraith or not. It's slightly trickier with tier 1 because it's in a pile. Tier 2 and tier 3 are lengthwise. There we go. Immediately stepped in the salt. Now... That lets us know that it is not a wraith. Wraiths do not tread in salt. The second part of the salt is when it treads in it, it has the chance of leaving uh, UV footprints, which are pretty cool because often you can see their path as they've wandered off. In this case, there isn't. That says there's probably no UV, but I'd like to confirm that with the second pile. Uh, again, if we pop this here use F to put it down you'll see the red beam of light and um, what I tend to do in corridors and, and stuff like that is put a pile of salt down put the motion sensor over it uh, that way you know if the okay we need to uh, we need to vacate the building um, you will know if it's cross the line and tread in the salt uh, because the motion sensor will go off you will hear motion sensor beeping away in here as well. Let's have a look at... Okay, set the alarm off. Still can't see any orbs anywhere, so we're going to discount the orbs. Definitely going to discount the orbs. Uh, we're going to take another crucifix with us. We're going to take a parabolic and we'll probably leave the salt for the moment. We need to go and turn that off. Ooh. Okay, it spawned. We're going to come up here. Remember, if you've got a torch on you, to remove your torch, to turn your torch off. That is a nasty sound. That is a nasty sound. A 
Okay, it's over. Hunt is over. Let's go back down. We need to turn that off as well. Uh, this does indicate that our sanity is probably below 50%. We'll turn that off. Let's turn that back on. Uh, let's pop that down as well. There's no book writing. The EMF we haven't seen. It has tread in the other salt. Let me just check for... We're not... How old are you? Where are you? Are you old? Are you young? Are you trying to kill us? Are you friendly? Where are you? Can you write in the book? Are you going to EMF for us? I think you... Taking a wander? How old are you? Where are you? Where is the sound? The there we go. So we have uh, an indicator on that. We'll turn that off now because it is flipping annoying. Uh, so we do have... Let's get out before we waste the crucifix. Okay, crucifix won't go off now because it won't spawn. Uh, so, first bit of evidence, wow, that took a while, uh, is the spirit box. Now, we know it's not a wraith because it tread in the salt. Uh, we did not see any orbs, so it can't be a mimic. Mimics always come with the orbs, which is the fourth bit of evidence. Uh, it could be any other of these as well. Uh, let's have a, yeah, we're at 43%. What have we here? Okay. Let me have a, another quick squiz in the camera. We're looking. He's turned the light on there. I've left it on. One of the two. Okay. I can't see any dots at all. We're going to go back in. We're going to be aware of where we have to get to. Well, um, for our hiding spots. So it's probably going to... There there it goes. It's spawning again. We're going to have to be really careful. What was that? Okay, we've only got a two, which is the... Yeah. Oh, and it's written in the book as well. Perfect. So what we can quickly do is we can take photos of the crucifix. We can take photos of the ghostwriting book. We can take a photo of that one. Uh, we could probably take another photo of the crucifixes because there's two down there and we're going to get out of the house again just for the moment and we can check those and make the writing. So we got uh, ghost writing as well. So it's a spirit, poltergeist, mare, moroi or dio. Uh, the photos, I may have messed up on that second. No, I didn't. I didn't. It does detect the second crucifix. That's fine. So we still need another five photos to get the um to get the perfect investigation uh, but on this instance we're probably not going to do that you see we escaped the hunt but it didn't see us so it doesn't give us it uh, the last bit of item i've got on me is the parabolic mic now this is going to be a tricky one because the ghost's already active I just want to show you the use of this as well. We'll we'll hang about here. We did have the event in here, so be very careful if you're hanging about near the ghost room. Uh, it can spawn in there, and we're going to have to get the hell out of there. Uh, what what ghosts do we have? Spirit, Poltergeist, Mare, Moro, and Dio. Well, Dio is is uh, stupidly fast, like crazy, crazy fast. Oh, oh it spawned. There we go. So the sounds of that don't count. So when it is hunting, it or it didn't used to. Let me just check. Um, overview. No, it didn't. Uh, normally, it's the sounds outside of a hunt that count. Um, that is not a do. Uh, the reason it's not a do is because dos are incredibly fast when they spawn. They're three meters a second, and they reduce when they get to you. To one meter a second so you can outwalk them let alone out sprint them you can outwalk the dos the the problem is there are a few ghosts that come to you very very quickly uh, unless you're very certain <laughs> that you want it to be a do then um it's probably not the best test to be doing okay it's over I'm gonna turn the light on we'll turn this one on as well what we'll do is we'll carry on listening Oh, it spawned again. Right. 
I'm just going to let this ghost see me. There we go. It's see me. I'm going to sprint up and out the way. And we will close ourselves in. Parabolic mic is out of my inventory, so it's off. That should have given us... No, it didn't. Clearly, it didn't see us. Okay. Hunts are still freakishly short in this, so all is good. And it's leaving the breakers on. Now, we still need that third bit of evidence. This is being a bit of a pain. It's pr probably going to be UV. Oh, there we go. No, it's not UV. So we didn't get the fingerprints. And yeah, it's definitely not UV. We can see that from here. So we can cross UV off the list. Fingerprints are set to 100%. Um, in most circumstances so oh there we go that was a bit of a lag there <laughs> it was obviously lag slightly it did see us um oh, of course the hunt was still going on when we uh, when we did it um because we've checked for footprints because we've checked for handprints and there's no uv we can safely cross that out uh, spirit mare or moroi it's not a deogen because of the speed so what we're looking for now is EMF level 5 for the spirit. We're looking for freezy temps and we're looking for um, orbs. Well, there's pretty much no orbs. I haven't seen any dots yet. We haven't seen an um, EMF and it's definitely not freezy temperature. So we can confirm that by going in and seeing if there's a level 5. Um, that obviously comes with its risks. We're at 27%. It is going to spawn again on us. Normally, I would have expected spirits to do a little bit more eventing and throwing, but uh, we can't always have that. So, let's go in. Let's see if we can... still want to show you the parabolic. It looks like getting away from the ghost is well within... Okay, capabilities. So it is quite a narrow band on detection for the parabolic. So just moving it side to side occasionally just gives you a little bit more coverage. You will hear it speak or make us make sounds. And it's kind of an echoey sound. Oh, spawned again. Go. On. So having the light on in the room as well will give an indication when the hunt is finished. So it, you can't turn lights on when a hunt started, which is how you can tell if the hunt's still going. You can flick a light switch. If it doesn't do anything, if it doesn't move, then the hunt's still on. Um, however, having it on when the hunt starts, when it finishes, it turns the lights off. So it is a good indicator uh, that the hunt has finished. So back to trying to get this goddamn parabolic. It's not wanting to talk. There we go. There we go. Some slight whispering there. That just shows how to use the parabolic. It may have been that I was slightly out of range. Um, I didn't want to go too close and risk the death. Um, let's just have another look in here. De confirm, definitely, definitely no orbs. Um, I haven't seen any dots either. We can nip in and once we can force the next hunt, so sanity, <laughs> we've got all the objectives as well. We could continue and take the photos. We can go and pop some more salt down, which will give us some more photos. Uh, we need the five. Uh, what else can we take? Dirty water. If it throws something, you can risk the interaction. That doesn't always pay off, though. So it might not be worth it. Um, the choice really is yours now. So by process of elimination, we've said what we think it is. However, what we can do is risk life and limb pick up the emf pop the emf there oh no 
No, get away. Get out of it. I'm out of that. I am out of that. Quick shot of the door. No way is that ended. Oh no. Still, still walking around out there. There we go. Now we're ended. So what I wanted to do with that before we were rudely interrupted was what I mentioned. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, that's the freaking camera. Okay, we missed it. We lucked out on that. So what we can do, let's put it up against the wall here. There. We can quickly nip and get the camera. We can put... Put the camera there. Oh my god, why is it chasing me so much? It really loves this. So, just being a bit sparing on the sprint as well. Just to allow... You've only got a limited amount of sanity. Uh, uh, stamina. As you do in most games. So it's definitely worth just not hitting shift and trying to sprint your way out of it. You will run out quickly. There we go. I need to just level up that camera again. This ghost is obviously slightly easier to get away from. Uh, so if we do that, so it's pretty much pointing towards it. We can go back to the truck now. Um... This is the way you would get a level 5 on a shade as well. Because the shades don't like to do anything while you're in or around the room. We can just about see the indicator there. I'm quite confident that it is a spirit anyway. As it turns out, um, let's have a look at the evidence. I'm quite confident that it is a spirit, but you can sit here and wait for that to go up to level 5. Or you can sit in the room and wait for it to go to level 5 as well. You can find a hiding spot nearby. Don't forget the hunts. If it level 5s during a hunt, it does not count. So it does have to be an event. That sets it off. Uh, but as I say, I'm quite confident with that. So I'm going to go for it and see what happens. Uh, you can hear the beep as well of the motion sensor. If we're right, we'll get two times our um, money. There we are. We have the spirit. So find the ghost type 100. Uh, we get the uh, average sanity. These were the objectives. So 25, 25, 25. Investigation bonus 175. Obviously just the total. Twice that. And then we get the bone on top of that. The photos that we've taken there. And we get the daily objective as well. So that is a handsome amount of money and XP for you to um, level up with. Uh, if that's unlocked anything, again, go back to the shop. Use your uh, little upgrade side and use your upgrade there. Uh, I don't like the tier 3 UV. That's why it's not done. I don't like tier 3 flashlight either. Uh, then go into your equipment manager if it's a new item that you've unlocked to don't forget you need to buy it click on the item um sorry no uh in the shop click on the item to buy then go to the equipment manager and add one in there if you want to put it in the um in the truck straight away and then make sure you make the adjustments in your quick loadouts as well so that is pretty much it for this one that was level um, up to level 10 of the unlocks for the equipment. Uh, I think on part 3 we'll do the rest of them, which is up to level 16. The sound sensor, the igniter, which is the, matches all the lighter. The headgear, uh, which we have as well. Brilliant for opening up a second slot from tier 2 onwards. Uh, tier 1, not so good if you're, um, if you're doing solo. Pretty pointless if you're solo, actually. Uh, the incense and the sanity meds that that covers everything we can purchase in the game that way all that happens then is we upgrade to tier two and tier three as we keep going along that once we've got those we should fly through some of the uh, the investigations after that uh, do appreciate it if you made it all the way through thank you very much for watching if you could uh Hit the like button if you have liked it. That would be really good of you. 
Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, if you could uh, subscribe as well, that'd be fantastic. Appreciate your time. Take it easy. Have a fantastic rest of your time zone. See you hopefully in the next one. See you later. Goodbye.